with the Los Santos Drug Wars DLC released in December 2022, there came a much needed buff to the vehicle warehouse business, where you'll now receive a high demand bonus in public lobbies depending on how many players are in it. So in this guide, I'll be showing you how to set it all up, the best ways to source and sell the cars, and of course, how much money you'll likely make, and whether or not they are worth it. This is the ultimate import-export money guide after the Drug Wars DLC. So without further ado, let's get to it. I'm here to make life as easy as possible and to help this business run efficiently. Before you can buy yourself a warehouse, you'll need to own a CEO office. These start at $1 million. Location is not important here as you can either just spawn directly into your CEO office by joining a new lobby or you can start sourcing missions from your terabyte, bypassing this location altogether. Welcome to your office, sir. I'm your new executive assistant. Okay, you logged on? You purchase a vehicle warehouse, then Securo Serve puts you onto different cars in the area to source. Once you've sourced the cars, you warehouse them and sell them onto a highly vetted customer base when you want to. As for the warehouses, they range from $1.5 million to $2.85 million. The location at $1.5 million is definitely the best value as it's a good location close to the highway, meaning an easier time for delivering and exporting the vehicles. Interiors don't matter and will add no value to your payment. Now with your million spent on the place, you now need to start filling it up. Oh, it's the boss. Okay, here's our new vehicle warehouse. Let me show you around. We're gonna store all our vehicle cargo here before selling it. We can fit 40 cars in here. First and foremost, always do these in a solo, friend or invite only lobbies. When the DLC was first released, you could only source the vehicles in public lobbies. There are three types of car categories, each paying out varying amounts for how much they are worth. They are standard range, mid range, and top range. Minus the mod cost, standard range will be as much as $30,000. Mid range will pay out $50,000 and top range will pay out $80,000. To start with, what cars you may be asked to source will be completely random, but there is a way to manipulate always getting the top range cars. The best way to run your business to maximize your income will initially take a lot of time, effort and patience, but bear with me. There are many different varieties of source emissions, with some harder than others. But mostly, you'll have to go to a location, steal a car, drive off in your stolen vehicle while being attacked by some very aggressive NPCs. Some people like to grab a cargo bob and delivering the vehicles this way. But personally, the time it takes to get one to your location, hook it up and get it back isn't very economical and can also still be damaged by bullets anyway. If you have a terabyte, park it right outside your warehouse. This means easy and quick access to start your next source emission. But there is a three minute cooldown after each delivery it's highly advised to set up job warping and moving around the map that way, especially as the missions can spawn all over the map. If you don't know how to job warp, I'll leave a link in the description below. Each mission will take an average of around five minutes to complete you are likely to suffer some damage which will be taken out of your pocket before you start earning any money back. This is approximately $4,000 on average per car, but there is no initial sourcing cost, so this is the price you pay. You boot butt motherfucker. Oh, son of a bitch, you shot me in the ass. Regardless of how many people are in your CEO, you can only ever source one vehicle at a time. What you are aiming for initially is to fill up your warehouse to 60%. This is equivalent to 24 vehicles, 12 standard and 12 mid-range. Never sell any of the standard or mid-range vehicles. This will take you around three hours of grinding source missions when taking into account delivery time and cooldowns. This also works out to approximately $80,000 in cost due to damage. But as I said before, bear with it. 
With your warehouse now at 60% capacity, you will only ever be asked to source top-rate vehicles. The best way to sell these vehicles is by joining a public lobby and only ever selling the top range one at a time. If you manage to get more than one top range vehicle after your 50% capacity, you will need an associate for each car you wish to sell. Avoid selling the collections as this will only remove the standard and mid-range cars from your warehouse, meaning more source emissions to fill those spaces. You can filter through the cars by logging into the computer in your warehouse and clicking filter by range, then select top range. Always choose the specialist dealer option as these pay out the most. When it comes to customizing your cars, nothing you do here will add value to your stock, so just choose the quickest option for each category and start delivering. Okay. It's best to stick to the highways as you have less chance to hit any traffic or obstacles, which will then lose you money. If you have more than a few players in your lobby, you won't get the attacking NPCs during cell missions. These only spawn if you are on your own and then they attack you directly. As you are registered as a CEO, you can activate Ghost Organization if you think you are about to be griefed. But in my experience, this is mostly not necessary, as the delivery missions are usually pretty quick. So how much can you actually make? Each top range car will pay out $80,000, maybe minus the $4,000 in damages when sourced. So let's say a profit of $76,000. But sell these in a full public lobby with the high demand bonus and you're looking at making $150,000 per top range car. Selling more than one car in a go isn't worth it, as you'll only ever get the bonus for the one car you are delivering. So instead of making $150,000 per car, you'll only have made $112,000 per car. Selling one top range car at a time works out to around $126,000 profit per car. After each vehicle exported, there is a 20 minute cooldown period. Add on a further 10 minutes for every vehicle you delivered on top of that, so 30 minute cooldown for delivering two cars, 40 minutes for three cars and 50 minutes for four. But as stated earlier, the best way is to only export one top range car at a time. During the cooldown period, this is more than enough time to grab yourself another top range vehicle or two to replace the ones you've just shipped off. In real terms, you're looking at sourcing and delivering three top range vehicles in about an hour. That's equivalent to around $378,000 per hour, up there and in line with some of the other businesses. The only real drawback is the initial grind to really get going and how frustrating some of the source emissions can be. But if this is something you like doing, they are definitely better than they were. On top of that, you'll probably end up buying a vehicle warehouse anyway, as it allows you to purchase and store some special vehicles, like the amazing Phantom Wedge, for example. Accommodate anything from a huge Phantom Wedge to an amphibious Blazer Aqua. So do you think the import-export is now worth doing again? Let me know in the comments. So if you found this video useful, please drop it to like and maybe consider subscribing for more. I'm Beatsdown, 
and I'll see you in the next one. And that's it. We should get to work.